Have we got any oil in yet? Yes, there are. Lunch day two. People are entering the cave again. Yeah, and that would run. You've got to avoid fouling with that. We're not even wanting to yeah. across the top there. Yeah. Hey, we're closer than I thought. What I've said is, uh, Paul can't hang around too much longer. But if we get. Okay, if you can press down the accelerator. Thank you, and back, and again. Yeah, that well, that looks good, doesn't it? That's good. Yep. Thank you. This is the top retainer for the rear battery rack. Now the solder blade seal. Okay, we're just enlarging the holes for the threaded rod. Oh, that's done. It's impressive, isn't it? Old metal fatigue. <laughs> So we've had to manufacture a, an aluminium plate with a smaller hole cut in it for this, uh, this gland here for our um, high voltage from the traction pack in the rear. Yeah. Excellent. All right, so this is the front of the battery rack with our controller plate. Um, we've got a um, DC to DC converter to mount on here. At the moment we, we had a, a, an end that was a bit wobbly even though it's mounted elsewhere so we're putting in, putting in a um, vertical here down to a st plate just near the stabiliser bar and uh, just doing some tack welds, getting it all in place and tomorrow we'll clean it up, add in a few, bit, a few bits of more tack weld and then take it all out and um, clean it up and paint it. Everybody's gone, and they've just left carnage behind. Nobody tidied up tonight. We're all struck down with enthusiasm. So we did as much as we could, and we got to near ten o'clock. And now I can't find the light switch to turn off the lights. Day three, and Adelaide's having its wettest spell in at least six months. Before nine, and David's already grinding away in the garage. Okay, morning of day three, there's our welder. He's been doing all the welding on the job. I'm sure that it all qualifies. He's a certified welder, so all the welds should be fine. He's checked them all. I just want to um, wait until last lunch for this. I mean, it's dry, but it's a little bit sticky. We can position it. It'll dry in the bonnet, under yeah, the bonnet. Oh, you're so putting the battery rack back in. Is it uh, behind the master cylinder there? Yeah. I might just have to throw it onto that screw. So this is the controller plate, and we're mounting the DC to DC converter on the other side, on the underside of it, so that we can um, bolt it through. Um, he's traced it inside. He's got it under the bonnet, so we might need to run a wire back to the switch. And then back out, back out through the firewall. Okay. Um, unless yeah. we're feeling really adventurous and want to track that line inside the car. So we must be getting near the end of the project because David's doing wiring diagrams. <laughs> well, we are. Yes. I mean, Andrew's broached this because we've got to the point where we've got to think about it. Mount relays and things yeah. like that. Yeah. So it's, it's all happening. Going in the transmission oil going in through a funnel system made from a modified fuel siphon, <laughs> and poor Jeff's underneath this car. While Ryan is cleaning up, wiping drops off, some of her, some of which are falling onto Jeff. Just put it in the hole just a little bit, and then I'm just trying to because there's a lip inside. Oh, it's leaking there's quite a, a lot, isn't it? Put the, put the bolt in, it's not overfilled. Though. It's stripping out, isn't it? Uh, it's
and just pulled the cables through the gland. Oh, really this is through. the gland there. There's a hole. No fundamental reason why. You just behind the seat yeah. through the body. Yeah. Protection yeah. rope. Right. That's right. Without aluminium. But um, comes out under here, underneath the car, and is routed by a conduit. And I'll show you in a second some G-clamp. So this is the high tension cables, attached by, attached by um, plants that we, that's the minimum of every 600 millimetres. And the front one's done, completely good. <laughs> Meanwhile in the wiring department, Andrew's working away. Starting to look a little bit more professional now. Wait, right, wait, wait, wait. Not wait. including my thumb. Right. Wait. Okay, so this is making making the cable. First thing is to cut it. Yeah, slight. Slicing through. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So there'll be 96 volts across there. Yeah. So that'll turn on... That'll turn on the control one. Okay. But that can also be... Now, when you, when you take this white stuff off, you know to twist it off, not to pull yep. it off? Yep. Just there. So you've got to if it... Not coming easily, you need to cut it more. You want me to do it? No. Oh, no. Okay. Now, we should put. Okay, next screw the lug on in the same direction that you've screwed off the. Yeah, nice. Right down to the hilt. Okay. Next, cut your shrink wrap and your fingers. Okay. So, heat gun. High setting. Mm. So, an exciting moment has arrived. We've just put the bonnet back on, which feels like a definitive step towards completing the car. Some more last minute wiring, extending leads to vacuum pumps and things like that. Don't know who this bloke is with the screws on. Yeah, just positive. Yep. Negative. That's pump. negative for the DC to DC. And negative for the DC to DC. So we're firing both of those. You're firing off that at the same time. Yeah. That's the key switch one. Yeah. Right, and the negative returns to B minus pound. Yeah. Okay, I'll just check that with the volume meter. Is it happy? That's good. Good. Now, that's the thermal cutout. Free charge resistor across the contactor. David has just connected the very last wire for our... This is where you have fun while yelling at bang at people. <laughs> <laughs> It'll fire off everything. Do you want me to go? Okay, not quite yet, I was checking that we're getting to okay. the side of the switch. Yeah. So it should be there, Yeah. but it's not there. I mean, the pump didn't start, right? No. So that's good. All right. So if you switch it on now, we might even do the pump start. Oh. oh. <coughs> now, day, the pump will stop. Now, yeah, but on a bad <laughs> day, the pump won't start. No. Stop. You can see I haven't got your reservoir yet. It could be an adjustment of the vacuum switch or a vacuum switch wiring error. Or, um, oh, there we go. That was me. Oh, okay, vacuum pump's going on. And it should turn off when it's developed as that vacuum, except that Andrew's pumping it hard. But that feels like power breaks now, doesn't it? So now let it, let it go for a few seconds. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. That's not bad. Not bad. I don't know what it, it's pulling, but it's definitely power assisted. Okay, this is the final test. We're going to turn on the engine. Everyone, hands and ears. Oh, that's pretty boring. Can it stop? Yes. 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 yes, stop. Oh, yes. Stop well. Yeah, oh, it works. The wheel's rolling. Sounds a Mind success. Put, yeah. Yeah, it rolls a little neutral. I hate it, Wow! It's an electric car! And it's moving forward! Unbelievable! And it's not making a lot of noise! No! That's fantastic! Very good!